Hello and welcome back to another review from us TTE Tech. Okay, uh, right now we're gonna actually review the Acer B Touch E210. Right, so here's the box. Uh, yeah, see it's all from from Acer. Your normal box here. Okay, it's kind of small actually. Right, so when opening it, you most likely see right the unit itself. Okay. And then what comes with the unit is all right here you can have the is the soft pouch okay and you of course we have the charger okay. this charger here just connect to the USB right your standard uh, 3.5 mm uh, earpiece and of course there's also they give you it comes with a two gig memory. And of course the user manuals, and that's uh, pretty much about it from coming from the box. Okay, so on. So that's pretty much about it. So boxing it. Okay, so here's actually the unit, right? The call button and the end button. This one is the home button. This is the back button. Here is actually the search button. And this is your menu button. And of course we have the optical trackpad followed by the QWERTY keyboard which is almost uh, pretty much similar like uh, the Blackberry. Okay, so here's the front. The side here, there's uh, here's the jack where you put in the 3.5mm. Um, Okay, the earpiece behind here you have a 3.2 megapixel camera come with a stereo sound right and it's pretty much about it here's the volume the yeah, volume button and this is basically where you connect your USB cable to charge or pretty much uh, to connect to the PC okay the bottom here you don't see anything much so yeah that's pretty much about it opening the casing is a bit difficult as you know yeah you might have a problem with it, but once you open it, it's pretty much uh, straightforward. Okay, it comes with a 1300 uh, mAh battery. Okay, this is where you slot in the SIM card. Uh, you unfortunately, you have to remove the battery in order to actually slot in the SIM card. Okay, and of course, the memory card goes in here, which uh, is kind, kind of straightforward. So, that's pretty much about it. So, let's turn this baby on. Switching on this is uh, basically just press the here one button so it will vibrate a bit and yeah you should be seeing the yeah here you go you can see it all right uh, for the first boot it took us actually um, two to three minutes so normally the first time it boots is longer but for the second time, it will take less than less than that. So it should be coming into the menu anytime soon. Yeah, here we are. Okay, let me get a closer look at this. Okay, as you know, this uh, phone is running on Froyo 2.2. So basically, how to unlock is uh, you can actually do slide the lock here. If not, you can also unlock it by pressing the menu button. To pretty much unlock the phone okay. okay so the phone is pretty much um, set up quite easily uh, like any Android devices whereby okay you have the market and uh, messaging okay so I basically have uh, sync all that okay because you can see this uh, this optical pad you can actually swipe so it's kind of useful like uh, for Blackberry and also it is uh, touch screen Okay, it's resistive touch, so it's, it's not, uh, you might need to, you know, press slightly harder to actually go to the next screen. Yeah, so apart from that, I think it should be fine. Okay, and then you can, yeah, here are the menus actually, whereby I think it's, it's kind of smooth. So it's actually quite an easy phone to use. So if for those of you who are, you know, from BlackBerry, want to, you know, migrate to an Android phone, probably this would be a suitable phone for you if you know if you have that interest in mind but anyway okay so what I'm gonna try to do now is uh, probably the one thing is yeah messaging on this phone is is really you know it's really been easy actually 
yeah, compared to the previous one I was using. So with the QWERTY keypad, I think it's easy for you know sending emails or sending messages. As you can see, I'm sending this to Dennis. Wonder if he's getting it or not. But anyway, while we wait for him to reply, okay. Um, an application I want to show you is yes. You can play Angry Birds. Yeah. So yeah, I guess this is the benchmark for you know every Android user who wants to you know have Angry Birds. I think it's a simple game and uh, yeah, it's quite entertaining. So I think you should be able to play without any problems. So we'll just wait for it to load. I can hear the sound so it's quite quite loud actually. There you go. Okay. Oops. So in terms of in terms of smoothness I think it's okay, so it's not really an uh, issue. So that is Angry Birds for you. Okay. Okay, so apparently Dennis has replied back. Here we go. Low smoother. Yes. Okay, um yeah. Anyway, Dennis know the story why why it's smooth and all that. So anyway, we're gonna give him a call. Just to test the sound quality. Oops. No. Okay. Hello, is this? Hello, is he doing? Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes. Can you hear me properly? Yes, very clear. Oh, very clear. Yeah. Okay, say hello to the world. What? Yeah, I'm. I'm doing the review now. So my point, my, my voice doesn't sound digital or anything like that, right? Yeah, no, very clear. Very clear, very huh? Clear. Okay. All right, thanks, man. Okay. Good night. So yeah, that's pretty much about it for the voice call. Uh, yeah, probably the we 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 read from some review whereby you know the sound is actually digitized, but so far, well, as you can hear, Dennis says it was clear. So yeah, that's pretty much about that for the call and you know game technical spec about this phone is uh, it's a 600 uh, megahertz okay using a Qualcomm processor and of course it has a 256 megabyte of uh, RAM plus a 512 megabyte of ROM and you can actually sort in uh, you know memory card to increase increase the storage capacity okay and of course it comes with a Bluetooth GPS uh, a GPS as well and uh, it's, uh, as you know, as uh, behind it is the 3.2 camera. So let's give that a try. Oops. Okay. Right, so yeah. Which I think is uh, pretty much uh, straightforward. So you, it's, uh, it's just a 3.2 camera, so 3.2 megapixels. So don't, you know, don't really expect too much from it. But anyway, it should look alright. For you know, just if for those uh, casual taking and uh, so don't, don't like I said, don't don't expect too much from it. But anyway, should be fine. Okay, sorry, yeah, so yeah, here we go. Uh, it's grainy, but I think it's due to the uh, lighting, uh, which you know most camera phone have. So for the browsing experience, um, probably it's uh, well. Let's try. It doesn't support uh, flash, despite being 2.2. .2, uh, but you still can actually, you know, go visit YouTube and watch movies on it. Let's see if we can get a. Okay. So yeah. So we just see one. Okay. 
Okay, the quality on the video might look a bit blur, but actually it's on the phone itself, it looks, looks good actually. So I'm sorry about the camera quality, uh, yeah, because it's not able to focus properly. Yeah, so this video much about it. So it does come with a few, you know, application with it, and they've been promoting it, um, you know, with docs to go, whereby you can actually create you know documents and all that but for the one that came here is uh it's actually the free version so you only can you know read documents and not be able to create them okay uh, apart from that this would be excellent for you know for those of you maybe just like to check your emails or you know can even go to facebook's yeah things like that so basically it's just a uh, all i can say is um this is a uh, good uh you know it's a good it's a good phone uh for those who you know want to upgrade from their older phones and you know want to have an android experience as well as a keyboard uh this this would be i would recommend this okay okay one more thing i like to emphasize uh say about this phone or feature is that it's actually support you know um hotspot so it's actually a wi-fi teeter yes you can actually teeter your you know to your other phones or that one okay you can actually turn it on here it's under Acer settings uh, teeter and portable hotspot okay so I'm switching it on right and I'm going to use my wife's iPhone okay to pretty much scan the network so you can actually see here Android AP so this is the this is the phone actually that's connected to the uh, using the E210 so yeah it's connected already so yeah so basically yeah I can actually browse on the web as usual Oh, yep. Hey, look, that's me. So yeah, basically, yeah. So that's one of the cool features I find on this phone. So if you would like to, you know, find out how what else you want to know about it, just uh, feel free to leave a comment or, uh, you know, feel free to ask on what you want to ask about this phone or what you can do. Just leave us a comment, and I'll get it back right to you. And the cost selling here in Malaysia is only seven hundred and ninety nine. So, yeah, it's quite quite um, reasonable for this phone. For what you can do for if you want to get a cheap Android phone uh, that uh, runs on Froyo. So apart from that, I think that's pretty much about it for this review.